I want to show you a fast technique to correcting a color cast that you don't necessarily like. Perhaps you got some color splash on something that's in your image that you'd like to get rid of. And in this case, I have a model shot uh, with a red gel filter from the left. And if I were to composite this into a scene that required not having the red, I would need to get rid of this. And it looks like it might be a really difficult task, but actually it's very simple once you know a few basic techniques. So I'm going to show you that really quick. Uh, first of all, I need to know the colors that I'm working with, the color that the object sh should be. In this case, I know that on this side of her shirt, it should be gray, similar to this side of her shirt. And for that is actually uh, quite an easy thing to achieve. You can get that through using monochrome. I'm just going to put a hue saturation level on top, drop it down, hit OK, take all the saturation out of it. Now, because I don't want the rest of the scene desaturated, I'm going to fill, go to edit, fill, or shift F5, fill using black. There's a lot of options there, foreground, background, color, make sure you choose black. Now that I've filled it with black, I'm going to take a brush, make sure your opacity is all the way up to 100%. And uh, here for this one, I'm using a round brush, uh, which is pretty standard usage. I'm going to bring my hardness down to zero, make it a soft edge brush, and use whatever diameter is necessary for your project. In this case, I'm going to make it just big enough to get a, a nice little chunk of the edge here, and I'm going to start painting in the desaturation onto the shirt. Now, this is really convenient when you have something that's gray like this or desaturated already because it's a simple way to remove that color casting uh, without going to a whole lot of trouble but once we get to her arm it's going to be a little more complicated and I'll show you a fast technique to deal with that now as I go through here and I've fairly quickly been able to remove the color cast from her gray shirt now the arm on the other hand is totally different I can't desaturate that I really need it to be the color of her skin naturally so I'll show you an easy way to do that create a new layer above the layer that you're working with go over here to where you can choose the blending mode and go down to the very bottom where it says color you want color blending mode for this layer now what I'm gonna do I'm keeping the same brush round brush I'm going to hit my alt key which will turn your brush into an eyedropper alternatively you can go over and use the eyedropper tool here and select a color that you want the skin to be so I'm gonna select a color of her skin uh, on the side of the arm which is not having the red color cast. Now that I've done that I'm just going to paint with that color on this side. Now one thing I'm running into is it's painting onto my background so what I'm going to do here is actually bring it down on the layer. This layer is isolated so I'm going to right click and choose create clipping mask. Control Alt G is also a uh, shortcut for that now that I've created this clipping mask, it's only going to color onto the layer that I'm uh, that I'm clipping. So I'll just start painting again, and we'll see how that looks. And as I start painting now, you'll see that her arm is coming out the same color uh, as the other side should be. And the reason for that is because the blending mode there is only allowing the color to translate, not the uh, not the lighting or anything. So you actually keep very accurate lighting when you use this technique. You may need to resample a couple of times if the color changes. For instance, up here around her hand, I may need to resample because her hand might be slightly a different shade than her arm would be. Most people have varying colors throughout their skin tones on arms, legs. Uh, up here on her sword, I can just select gray. Run gray over the parts that I want to change. Again, select her skin tone. Finish that off. Select gray once more. I'm about done there. Hair can be done using the same technique. I'll just select a brownish tone that works for her hair. Paint it right in. Here on this band, I believe it's supposed to be black. So I'm going to select a black. Paint that in. Select a gray. Get rid of the color that's on her uh, shirt. On her leg again, I'm going to actually pull from this side, which is probably a little more accurate lighting wise for the color that her leg should be on this side, and then just paint it in. 
and this is a very fast and efficient way to get rid of a color cast uh, really useful here we go on the boot just paint that in and on the other leg I got a little bit that I need to get rid of and there you go we've taken it from uh, this is the original to removing that color cast pretty simply in just a few steps I hope this helps you